Right now, we're getting here 2 million pounds of tobacco in total for the factory. That's roughly for us about three years worth of leave. That's our goal. You know, you, want, you know, you always hear people say they have five years and seven years and ten years. Nobody sets off with the intention of having tobacco for five, seven, and ten years. What happens is, as a byproduct of making blends that you desire to make, you end up having a lot of leak that isn't appropriate from the blend from the same crops, and you just keep setting it aside, say, someday I'm going to figure out what to do with that, what to do with that, what to do with it. And that's the way those tobaccos end up hanging out for five, six, seven, ten years. But in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, because that's all it is, most filler tobaccos, in my opinion, three years is about the longest that I would like to bail age most tobaccos. Most tobaccos start to just, they kind of, they peak out, and they just kind of slowly ebb away their flavor. And I have the same attitude about the long-term storage of cigars. Depending on the blend, there's a lot of cigars that I don't think it's appropriate to long-term age. Now it depends as you as a smoker, you may decide that you like that smoother, more nuanced kind of flavor. And if that's the case, then aging is your friend. And you know, I used to know a guy named Steve Herman, and he wouldn't smoke a single cigar until he aged it for 10 years. Now, that SOB was like 90 years old when he was in, had this opinion. And when he passed on, uh, I had to actually help his estate get rid of something like, you know, I think it was like 15,000 cigars, with almost all of them having five and more years of age on them. So, you know, to try to explain what these women do is very difficult. And to be honest with you, I could not do their job. Because the nuances that they're looking for in these leaves are so minor. And the only way they get good at it is by doing it every single, single day. I mean, they really could tell a lot just by the feel of their fingers. So, why don't we go ahead and step into the pretty. Anything to add to that?